据广州市新冠疫情最新防控要求，请凭广。So, I'm here in Guangzhou's nice, clean, open railway station. I'm super, super excited because I'm about to board a bullet train for the first time, heading from Guangzhou to Shenzhen. These things can reach speeds of like 219 miles per hour, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing and feeling what that's like. Let's go. So tickets on bullet trains are generally divided into four categories, and those are second class, first class, business class, and VIP seats. On this trip to Shenzhen, we'll be going first class. There's two things I actually love about trains in China. And the first is that if you work in public services, like a firefighter or a police officer, then you don't actually have to queue to buy a ticket. You can literally just skip the queue. Second thing is that if you miss your train, if you go to the ticket office within two hours of that train departing, they will give you a refund or put you on another train completely free of charge. Quick look at the toilet, see if it's clean. This is the toilet on a Chinese bullet train. Not too bad, actually smells quite nice to be honest. Dear passengers, the next station is Kuomen Railway Station. Smoking is strictly forbidden on this train. Like, it's also really, really, really quiet as well, which is quite nice. Ideal for now. Wow, that was so fast. 30 minutes and 130 kilometers later, we've arrived. 
like literally that's the same distance as Birmingham to London and it just took less than 30 minutes so smooth so fast I think that's my new favorite way to travel the longest bullet train journey is actually Beijing to Hong Kong so it's definitely a journey that I will be doing and vlogging as soon as Hong Kong reopens so if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one thanks